Hey, hello and welcome once again. This reflex image. Uh, if this is the first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question, you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you're interested in getting all the practice material I do drop uh, for pictures like this, uh, my raw files, my raw picture, and some other files, my PNG files, the one I do give up for free. If you're interested in getting them, you can actually click on the link below to join my telegram group there so i'll be dropping more files more practice files and some other stuff for you guys to work on so that being said in this particular video i'll be showing you how to color grade uh pictures like this like color grade this three i'm going to be color grading this three picture but i'll only be doing the settings on this particular picture this picture was taken with canon 60d uh it lights it up ad 200 Pro uh, with a 15 uh, with a 90 by 90 centimeter beauty dish. So this picture was taken around 4:30 in the afternoon. Uh, ISO at 100, my aperture at 2.2, my shutter speed at 400. So that's how I came about this picture, and I'll be showing you how to color grade it. As you can see, there are three pictures with the same exposure rates. As you can see. So for what I want to do to work you have to make sure that the boots the three pictures or any amount of picture you are trying to edit are having the same exposure the same light setup for you to get the actual results so i'll be showing you how i do how i'm going to be doing the color grading on just this first one and i'll show you how to apply the setting on the remaining two to make them look perfectly all together as you can see my picture is a little bit overexposed right now so firstly i would like to bring down the highlights also I'm going to increase the shadow also. So for me to do that, I'll be messing with this area first, this treatment area. Then I just have to screw down. I'll bring down the highlights. I'll bring the highlight down, as you can see. Then under my white also, I'm also going to bring the white down. As you can see right now, which is kind of cool. My contrast, I'll increase the contrast a little bit. So let me just say I'm done with this area right now. So let us see the before and after of just this picture we just did now. This is the before, this is the after. With just like three single click, we will actually get a nice picture before and after, before and after. And we're even here to start with our color grading. This is just the highlighted and the shadow and the white. Those are just the three things we did right now. So let's still increase it again. Let's decrease the highlight again. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. As you can see right now so same thing for the shadow let's bring the shadow down a little bit let's darken the picture a little bit okay this is okay now so that being said now let's check out before and after again this is the before and here is the after so the next thing i will go to my hsl adjustment uh, your panel might not be arranged like this depends on the version of photoshop you are using but the labeling will also have to be the same the hsl adjustment will still be there uh the basic will still be there and the settings the preset also will also be there so now we're done with the with the basic now now let's go to our hsl adjustments once you click here it's going to load it up for us here is the major part when it comes to color grading outdoor picture not even outdoor alone color grading any picture using photoshop because people tend to use lightroom to color grade outdoor but i i find photoshop more effective for me and uh, some people also tried using capture one also and i'll also be trying to make use of capture one very soon also i'll be doing more videos on capture one very soon so i'm going to be working around with this hsl adjustment i'm going to be showing you guys how to also do that you don't have to buy presets to color grade your picture now you can actually color grade your picture using your camera arrow and you get a nice result at the same time so now let's start with that firstly i will work under my saturation we have the saturation we have the hue and we have the luminance so what saturation starts for it it has the color so now this is our skin color which is the orange here if i'm to increase it as you can see it's only affect our skin and every color that looks like the skin it's not even affecting the outfit she's wearing which is similar to red as you can see right now this is just testing the color is a little bit too much so i'll just bring it down as you can see think it's cool the color is okay around the side for me so the next thing i'll be doing i'll go to my blue i'm going to increase my blue i'll increase my blue then my cyan also i'm going to increase it i can start to reduce all the green i have in the picture which is kind of cool but no i love the green i love the way the green is right now so i'm going to increase the green i'll increase it as you can see right now 
So what the saturation does under HSL, it just harmonizes the color, it brings out the color, it makes the color pop. And the beauty about it is that it has separate colors. So instead of it to be adding saturation to all the pictures, it's, going, it's only going to be applying saturation on the particular color you are working on. If I'm to work on cyan now, if I'm to drag the cyan, it's only going to apply color on the cyan. If I'm to work on the red, so now let me add color to the outfit which is, which is the red. If I'm to increase the red right now, as you can see, it's only going to affect her outfit. And also she's using a red lipstick, a red lip gloss. So if I'm to bring it down, you can see the difference, right? So it's not going to affect the entire document, it's only going to affect the particular one in need. So it's only going to affect the red as you can see right there. But the red is too much, I can just bring it down, I'll bring it down. So if I'm to have any purple color here also, I'll just come here and increase my purple color. And it's only going to affect the purple in the picture. I say okay, there's a little bit of purple in this cap she's tying, so I'll just increase it. Same thing as magenta is also, I'll just increase, if I want to decrease, I'll decrease. So that's at the body saturation. So now let's check before and the after. Here is the before. Here is the after of the of the stuff. So the next one, the next thing we'll be doing right now is to work with our luminance. So what the luminance does is that it's going to darken or brighten the colors you want. As you can see, the same color we have in our saturation, which is the red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, blue, purple, and magenta is that the same color we are having right there in our luminance but it's going to determine how bright the color is going to be so like my cyan now okay let me just say i want to darken my cyan a little bit i'll just have to bring drag it down as you can see it's going to darken that area but we don't have more cyan in our picture so let's try the blue so i'm going to bring down the blue as you can see it darkens that area for me if i'm to increase it it's going to brighten the area so let me just bring it down a little as you can see right now so the next thing I'll be doing right now is also to bring down the red, the green. So now let's bring down the green and see. See, you can see the difference, right? If I'm to increase it, if I'm to decrease it, it's going to darken our picture for our green for us. So you can actually do that to the skin also. If the skin is a little bit too bright, you can just bring the, the color down as you can see. Wow, this is kind of good if you are trying to create a melanin skin tone. But this is not what you want, want, want to achieve here. So let's return it back to its normal position. So you can actually just keep messing around with them until you get an actual color. So now let's check our before and our after. Here is the before, here is the after. So for you to check your before and after, you can just click on your P. Once you click on P, it's going to take it to the before for you. And once you click on it again, it's going to take it back to the after for you. So you can actually just see what you just did now. We just few clicks you still have using a lot of presets look at how we just achieve a nice results so that being said now the next thing we'll be doing right now is to be using our you we've worked about our we've talked about our luminance our saturation so the next thing we'll be doing right now is to talk about the you so now I'm going under the you right now so once i click on my you so what the you does is it changes the color it gives you two sets of color for a particular color same color we have here, that's the same color we have here, but okay, if I want to change, maybe I want to change my green to yellow. Okay, maybe the leaf over here is a little bit of green now. I want to add a little bit of yellow to it. So I'll just come down under my green here. I'll just drag it down. As you can see, it's changing my green leaf to yellow for me. So okay, maybe if the yellow is too much, I can just drag it up and increase my green. But I think I'm going to be needing a little bit of yellow to it. So same goes to my yellow too. And you know we have some yellow here. Okay, if I want to increase the yellow... I just bring it down but if i want the yellow in my picture to look green as you can see it's going to change the colors for me but i think i will be going with a little bit of yellow right there so same thing goes to every color here like our, our cyan here if i decide to change it to blue right now but uh, our blue if i try to change to cyan i just have to drag down as you can see i have to drag up it's going to change the colors for me it's only affecting the particular color we are working on that it's not going to affect the entire document so you can just keep messing around with it until you get what you need so i'll be dropping this picture for you guys to practice on and also i'll be showing you how to apply this on the remaining two picture so that being said we've actually done something nice here's our before here's our after we did a nice color grading without even using any presets or any lot so far so now i can decide to change the skin tone around this way but i don't like that so i'll leave it the way it is i'll leave it the way it is also my red i can try to change my red to pinkish look to make it a little bit of pink as you can see even the lip gloss changed to pink so very very easy to you can i raise the best that's why 
I prefer shooting my outdoor picture on real so I can have more editing chance to it. So if I'm to drag it down, as you can see right now. So which is kind of cool also. So let's say we're done with this particular step right now. So the next thing now, we want to apply these settings on the remaining two picture. So how are we going to do that? So we are going to come under this preset here. Once you click on it, then you click on these three, these four options here. Click on it, then you are going to save the settings. Click on save. Wait for it to load up and make sure it check everything that is over here. Then you just click on save. Wait for it to load. It's going to give you, okay, what name do you want to save it with? Okay, now let me just save it with Reflex. Reflex video. So once I just click on save right now, automatically I already have it in my storage. So if I'm to click on the second picture I have over here, I will click on it. Then I still scroll down to where I save my files now. If I'm to click on reflex video, boom, automatically it's going to color grade our picture for us. As you can see, here is the before, here is the after. Here is the picture we all, we only we only color graded. We just apply the settings of this first one to this other one. So very very simple. As long as they are having the same exposure, you snap them with the same light setup, the same aperture, the same shutter speed. It's be very very easy for you to color grade. So I don't stress myself while I'm editing my outdoor picture. I only edit one and I apply the settings to the rest of my picture. When it comes to wedding pictures, so it applies to wedding picture. Like I can just edit one when it comes to color grading. Then I'll color grade the rest using the preset. So you can actually just start saving your presets this way instead of even buying presets for later on. And sometimes you don't have to take uh, a particular picture to use for color grading. You can just save every piece, uh, preset whenever you want to edit your picture. You just go to your camera roll, just doing trial and error for the presets you already have on ground. And some might work out. So now let's apply it on the third picture also. Just click on the third picture. So if I'm just to click here right now, click on turn, click on reflex, as you can see right now, boom. With just few clicks away, we actually color graded our picture. So now you can now open your picture in Photoshop, then you start your retouching. If you have to apply maybe like a lot file on it, then you are good to go. So for you to select everything and load everything up in Photoshop, just click on control, hold down your control key. key click on it click on it then click on open images you're going to take you down into photoshop where you can actually work on the pictures separately so that's all for the color grading today guys wait for it to load it up as you can see so that's all for today if you want to work on the picture both the retouching and the color grading the picture is down in the description below i will give you guys to work on there so like you'll be able to save a preset or two from it so there are other pictures that i can give you guys to practice on via my telegram and do so i'll be dropping the link below you can actually get them there and if you're interested in getting my preset pack they are also available for sale so that's about this video guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible See you guys on my next tutorial, one love. So in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file, from my overlays down to my color lookup, which is my lot file, so you just have to scroll down to your video. So under the comment, this is my description. So it's not going to load the description for you. You just have to click on show more, click on it. So it's going to show all the options. Once it does that, just click on my store link. So here's my store link. Once you click on it, it's going to take you directly to my store. So you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing file, my premium overlay, my PNG, my flying fabric, my color lookup, my preset. So once you buy this, you've already bought everything apart from this one. So here is my flying fabrics. Here is my, in case you want to give me any project for me to work on. Here is my color lookup. Here is my background overlay. And here is my preset file. So in case you're interested in buying anyone, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice. You can buy with any currency of your choice.